Hey collective, how y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Like, share, and subscribe. How y'all doing this morning? In the AM. Yes, honey. How did y'all sleep? Did y'all sleep good? I slept good. I overslept actually. But I slept great. Okay, so let's get into these messages. I have burnt a little bit of follow circle. All right, let me read the messages while I'm... Um, oh, what time is it? Where's my phone? Okay. All right. So, what's today? All right. Okay, so... Today is, um, oh Lord, I got a screensaver on, but I don't want y'all to see what it is. So it's 8.55 a.m. Can y'all see it? And it's October 22nd, 2023. Okay, so yeah. All right. Oh, it says, don't worry. <laughs> Be happy. Whoa. Oh, 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 Some of y'all could be on vacation. I know that's right. I know that's right. All right, y'all. So... Let's go. Let's cleanse the energy. Let's cleanse the energy. Yeah, let me give y'all a good cleansing. All right, let's go. All right, so I was hearing something about a signature. I don't know if somebody needs your signature or you miss signing something um, or somebody forged your signature. I would hope not. Um, also, something about somebody could have sacrificed their life or shortened their lifespan by doing something just because they desired it. Some type of crime. Put it where it fit, y'all. Some of y'all might not know y'all genealogy. Y'all have no type of trace or or um, records of your ancestry, and that could be a little frustrating. Um, gland, something about your glands. Um, also, something about an Aquarius. Somebody could have got adopted. I was hearing Esther. Also, somebody could have led somebody astray. As well as somebody, um, I feel like there's a Sagittarius or an Aquarius who is traveling or might be traveling towards you or travel somewhere. Um, I felt like somebody was on like a spiritual high or something or, you know, they could have been coming up and ranking, but then they had a complete decline, some type of loss, some, some type of urgency, some type Y'all heard it, some type of, um, some type of something. I don't know if somebody had a fall or what, but there was some type of de decline. I don't know if somebody went on a work trip and this happened. I, I feel like somebody also lost their passport. Or oh, this could be y'all on vacation and y'all lost y'all documents to depart or some shit like that. I don't know. Put it where it fit. Somebody could have sacrificed somebody just because they wanted to come up. Or, you know, something about capers. Y'all could have been eating a salad or y'all could be eating a salad right now. Or when while you watch this, something about an Aries. Something about something that somebody said. Some type of communication. Something about Venus. Some type of business venture. Um, I feel like some of y'all could be in the fashion industry. As well as some of y'all could be designers or even this could be coming out about a designer as well as um, 
I feel like somebody's doing linings and pieces and stuff and putting stuff together like a show. I don't know if this is what fashion week or something. Somebody could be traveling overseas. I was hearing something about the Red Sea as well. I feel like um, it was rising. Now it's declining. I don't know if it's going to dry out completely, bitch. But put it where it fit, okay? Let me see if I got anything. Somebody's a wanderer. Somebody just be wandering off. Maybe I want to watch our kids. Especially if they're between three and six watch they ask because you know what i'm saying i was hearing something about olympus has fallen um birthday sex so maybe oh happy birthday to whoever's birthday it is you know what i'm saying big up on yourself like share and subscribe um olympus has fallen maybe somebody shit can't get up maybe they don't desire a certain person anymore maybe they feel they have lost all type of feeling or or um attraction for someone Put it with it. Somebody could be having coffee and donuts for their birthday, or they're gonna receive this, or this is what y'all doing at this time. Um, that pumpkin spice again, honey. Ooh, with a little caramel swirl and a little foam or a little whipped cream, bitch. What? Ooh, don't get me started. Whew, something about a caretaker. Um, you guys could be caring for somebody who could be um cusper between gemini cancer um this person could have been a retired nurse they could be from the islands they could be catholic um <clears throat> something about a baseball game i feel like there could have been a brother who who could have passed at a baseball game or after a baseball game or this person used to play baseball or this person played a lot of games because i feel like the family's suspicious that the girlfriend did it you know what i'm saying or the wife Okay, put it where it fit. This this person could be a Leo and this girlfriend could be a Libra or a Cusper, um, Virgo, Libra. Okay, something about somebody named Lauren, Lauren Johnson. She could be a paralegal. This bitch could be a pig. Um, I feel like this person could feel like, um, I feel like you could know this person unbeknownst to you like you might have went to school with this person and you went to them for help and they didn't help you but it's because they had something against you from high school or school or some you know but you don't know this person yeah i don't know if y'all might have been friends maybe y'all had a class or something together they could have just been jealous or whatever case but this bitch is a pig anywho something about um specifically lauren johnson or johnson or Lauren, whatever, put it where it fit. Um, piggy, something about piggy. Um, something about this could be um the Muppets. Some of y'all could be watching the Muppet Babies. Also, I hear was something about um pig top piggy piggy tacos. So put it where that fit. Um, somebody could have fell ill. This could have been that brother who fell sick unexpectedly and um Y'all just in disbelief. Y'all heartbroken. My condolences. Y'all just don't understand what happened, how it happened, or what really truly occurred. Y'all could be dreaming about this person at this time. A lot of y'all are concerned for the children. They could have um, two girls. Um, I feel like the girl could be, I believe, 14 or 15, and the youngest could be either 9 or 10 or something of the sort. Something about the IRS. Some of y'all could owe a bill for $1,975. Um, somebody could be getting their nails done or got their nails done. And this could be that Aquarius or a Capricorn. Somebody, um, this Aquarius or that Capricorn could be the one who led somebody astray. And they could like to get their nails done. Something about Nordstrom and a fraud alert. So y'all might need to check y'all shit, child. Um, it's a fine, I heard it's a fine line between judging and confirmation. So put it where it fit. <clears throat> Something about crabs. Y'all could be buying crabs for, for $70. Y'all could be taking an Uber somewhere for $28. Um, I was hearing, um, North Miami beach. 
So this could be somebody on vacation. Maybe you paid for somebody and you're going to, you you you, you know, you had to write it down or whatever. Something about 70, 28. Maybe I want to check those numbers out. Let me look it up real quick. I feel like I want to look it up real quick. Block. Some of y'all might have to block somebody or y'all just been blocking a lot of people lately. You heard the bird? <laughs> That's the headquarters <laughs> for the bird, um, bird central. I told y'all it's headquarters right here. They be all night. Somebody could have been around your house last night tapping on your window or just fucking around around to make you like try to scare you out your sleep not knowing you was up get your life together please anywho people are strange child love and make you do some strange things Something about winding, winding. Somebody could be whining. Yeah. Yeah, somebody could be whining. This could have been a child who wanted this and winding, winding. Some about the Palestinian um, Central River or something like that. <clears throat> things that make you go hmm it's healing and self-care so that could be a y'all could be doing that today let's see what this says here you need to focus on the positive sides of your achievement so some of y'all could be feeling down you know some of y'all could just be um you know, having a rough day. I don't know where the planets are or how they moving and stuff, but um, you know that Scorpio energy is kind of gloomy. It's a lot of endings, and with this month and all this hocus pocus and <laughs> abracadabra and witchy poo and foo foo and fee fee and all of this bullshit, be careful because projection energies all day cleanse your energy. And that's why I probably came on here and felt the need to cleanse. So some of y'all need to, I would take a spiritual bath every day, bitch. Okay. If you can, or every other day, especially around this time, because they be working, honey. They be working. 1331 when I said that, they be working. And if you're not headstrong, they got you. I'm trying to tell you, look, if you ain't headstrong, your ear, if you ain't headstrong, they got your ass. 13 minutes already. Let's hurry up. Y'all could be having some type of inflammation. Yeah, inflammation twice. I don't even know why it's in here twice. Yeah, a lot of pain. Y'all could be having a lot of pain in y'all feet, y'all joints. Spiritual bath. Um, Some of y'all might have a, um, y'all could have received a painting or some type of art piece or something. And I think y'all need to take a black light and look over the artwork to see if there's any symbolisms or any hidden knowledge or there could be hidden information. And this goes back to um, the ancestors, maybe whoever passed, they could have left you some type of clue. So this brother or whoever this may be, father figure, um, they could have left you some type of proof of evidence or some type of information that they want you to decode. So, yeah, put it where it fit. Some of y'all are incorporating new ways to, um, new ways to make work more fun, especially if you're an influencer. 
something about North Carolina, something about North Carolina plates. I was hearing 2441HEA. So y'all might want to look that number up or what it means. Also, um, conscience, your conscience is a mirror of your heart, your true desires and stuff like that. So yeah, I already told y'all about this. Yeah, some of y'all could be eating something, tasting some of you. Some of y'all could be taste testers, um, sam food samplers or critics, food critics. Something about Phoenix, Arizona, Washington. Something about a wheelchair, spiritual high, risings and then low. Something about a growth, loafy tree, pressure, some type of urgency. I feel like somebody possibly could be leaving work and get hurt or something, you know? They could fall, lose their balance or something like that. Yeah, then I told y'all. And then I heard, um, always two steps ahead of them. So put that where it fit. I don't know. I heard that this morning. Always two steps ahead of them. All right, let's 1616 on the clock. That's 8 8. Some type of abundance, some type of karmic lessons, some type of um, something could have happened around that portal removal. Yeah, some type of loosening, some type of something, some type of decline. Something's being taken away. Okay, so I don't know if this is somebody's spiritual ranking, somebody who thought they was just too high to be touched. And spirit was like, ah, let me just put my hands on you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, somebody could be getting their glands removed. And weren't we talking about the um the lymphatic nodes? Or y'all could have a surgery tomorrow. Good luck. You're going to be good. Your pressure might go up and down. Or maybe you can't do it because of your pressure. Yeah. Sound, voice. Or y'all could be getting your throat, you know, your thyroid. We did see that. Maybe y'all getting your tonsils. Yeah, removed. Okay. Some type of opening. Some of, some of y'all could be a certified nurse midwife. Or y'all helping somebody deliver this baby. Some of y'all could be doulas. Or nurses. Or you could be helping that nurse. Visual again. Damn. Some of y'all could be getting like a... um. Y'all could have like something growing over your eye. So, yeah, y'all could be getting like special bifocals. Bursting for, yeah, y'all could have a blood clot in your eye. All right, let's get some of these. Let's try not to make it long. Okay, what do you need the collective to know today? Oh, bitch, I seen it fall tarot. Somebody could be listening to tarot. Maybe um somebody's gonna stop watching tarot altogether. Yeah, maybe somebody's completely eradicating tarot. Maybe somebody's leaving tarot. Maybe this is that person who um spiritually declining. Who's losing everything, losing their... I heard street cred. Ooh, bitch. Yeah, somebody's name could be Lexus. I heard Lexicon. Please talk to me. Somebody could feel ghosted. Somebody could drive a Lexus. Somebody could still be stuck in the Matrix. Or maybe somebody feel like somebody's still low vibrational. They need more healing. Ciao. It's too early. It ain't that early, but it's early enough, honey. Mm, 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 mm. Somebody could have daddy issues and somebody could be catching a flight. So maybe somebody f fly off the hinges quickly be due to some type of trigger, possibly when it comes to a daddy issue or not getting enough love or nurture or care. Or this could have been somebody who lost their dad. You know what I'm saying? Because I did. Didn't we see the brother? Um, or this could be somebody who lost a brother. 
that could have been like a dad figure for them and they might have to catch a flight to go towards this but or they could be watching tarot now to try to see something you know or whether they should speak up on something they could have found something you know and they're trying to figure out what they should do yeah this wife And maybe they found out somebody was doing something to somebody for years to block their vision or this shit is serious. They could have sacrificed them because we did see the sacrifice card. We're going to leave this out. We're just going to pull a few, y'all. We're just going to pull a few. Or maybe this, this person excluded this da dad figure from um the family you know how they do they try to exclude this could be a narcissist one of those people who feel like they can't have you talking to nobody to deter them deter you from being with them still so they could have isolated this brother turned this brother against or father figure against um the family wellness check yeah Maybe this person went in for a procedure and never came out. My condolences. I ain't trying to put nothing on nobody. And now y'all here looking for some type of understanding on what occurred. You know? Yeah, you need some type of guidance. Or you're being guided. Wow, this is heavy already. I need your touch. Maybe some of y'all longing for somebody. Or maybe y'all looking at something in a completely different perspective. Maybe y'all something is y'all looking at something more, you know, maybe something your brother said or like I told you when I was coming out of my sleep, I heard that um always two steps ahead of you. Maybe you feel like somebody did something or removed something. You know, but your brother could have said something or this father figure could have told you something that made you aware, heightened your intuition or triggered something for you to look at something closer. Or maybe you was watching Tarot and Tarot told you now you catching a flight. You could be going towards a doctor or the 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 um what you call it. the morgue oh my goodness well this could have been years or passing and you you doing some type of research maybe tarot triggered something in you and you're doing some type of research now and you're going to get the records and stuff like that or maybe this person you know if it's a fresh passing maybe they don't want this person to get an autopsy because they were doing something and it kind of tricky because if they're married, 23, 23, there's nothing you could really do unless you have some physical proof that, you know, a crime was committed. Emotionally available now. Yeah, this could just be bringing up a whole lot of emotions that you had buried. Well, this could be somebody who's triggered that um, this could have been the anniversary of a brother or a dad, father figure, you know, husband, wife, who is triggered around this time on just be on some demon time. You know, this could be a tarot card reader. This person is not well around this time. They don't see clearly. They don't speak clearly or they just withdraw. very emotional at this time yeah breakfast somebody yeah somebody needs a break um somebody needs to take a break oh remember i told you about that coffee and the donut so maybe somebody is you know something that 
a, maybe a tarot card reader is saying is helping you get some type of understanding when it comes to this situation. You could have told this person to go get a wellness check and they could have been at a game and that was it. Or y'all could have been watching the game and this person, you know, I don't know how this person passed. I don't know if, um, they could have got sacrificed because I told y'all about the, um, I heard capering. So, capering and capering is like, it could be, you know, you could put it in salad or something, but you could, it also could be like a prank or a crime. So maybe somebody was, I don't know. This could have been a drowning. Somebody could have traveled, you know, and got set up. Because remember, I told you I was here in Africa, something about the Red Sea, something about um, they could have traveled for work. This person could have been a fashion or they could have choked on something with the mouth, their throat. They could have got an infection. <clears throat> Why are we talking about this? Some of y'all could be mediums. Maybe I help people um, transition. Or y'all just speak to the dead. Yeah, 80000 Maybe this was a business deal going wrong. And y'all are like, this is the thing too. Y'all sitting here thinking that this person could have died overseas, right? They could have died overseas. But they were already sick, I guess, from that morning before they even caught that flight. They could have said something to, to, they could have said something or this person could have been leaving and, you know, they could have said something to you. You could have heard something in their voice and now you are seeing something. They could have told you they were going for a procedure or going to the doctor before they caught this flight and then they went, did what they had to do, had their breakfast and then, you know. They could have been 80,000 miles away. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Rapture. Yeah, this was sudden. This was sudden. Like I said in the, 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 the paperwork. Study enrollment. Study enrolled. Yeah. Yeah, somebody could have been celebrating their birthday. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yeah, somebody could have been studying their birthday. I mean, studying their birthday. Yeah, somebody could be studying somebody's birth chart now. To see, you know, any hidden enemies or what could have been wrong. What their, their you know, their karma life lies and stuff like that. Somebody could just be studying tarot now or getting into this dude. Or this could be a tarot card reader. But all of these things happen to this person that they love. And this is how they react around a certain time, a certain anniversary. You know? Yeah. Negative Nancy. Yeah. What <laughs> the fuck? This shit is crazy. I can't make somebody need to look at a bigger picture. Oh my God. 
this could be a trigger warning okay this could be a trigger warning oh my god damn can i say that this is a trigger warning i'm telling y'all right now Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't know if I should say it. My heart started beating fast. I need to know if this was the father or somebody else. Oh my God. Because what I was seeing in here was this. Okay, that's what I was seeing. This could have been up to eight years. And I feel like this person is unable to um, create life because this dad was doing this. That's why they're so emotionally unavailable. Because this says available now. So they could be like this, you know. I feel like this person is emotionally unavailable. And they don't know how to be. Yeah. Oh my God. What you got me into this morning, spirit. Look, it's divine timing. Somebody been searching for some type of evidence, some type of proof. Or somebody was looking for some type of confirmation. You heard the bird. <clears throat> it could be a Taurus. They have some type of weird sacred connection. This could have been in past lives. This could have happened to this person. Yeah, high ranking. Or this is a present day, bitch. This could be some, a tarot fucking card reader who is doing this. Broken promises. What is this? Us. I heard us against the world. Build a bare ass. This is my fake card. This is somebody who got to put on somebody who you know, do the surgeries or have to, um, this is terrible. Or this could be a masculine who went through this. I hope this wasn't like a masculine doing this to their wife or their children. Yeah, whenever they got intoxicated. Sorry for everything. Oh my God, this is sad. I've changed. Somebody could have got saved on Sunday. So somebody could be finding this out. Like this is what happened. They could have did this when they were younger. Look, a beast. Oh my God, they could have had a lot of addictions. 
divide, conquer, and destroy. This could be a Taurus. Never be the same again. Or I hope this is not somebody who removed themselves or they could have been watching tarot and removed themselves from the their regular home and decided to go stay with their dad, catch a flight. You know what I'm saying? And this is what occurred. Divine conviction. Emancipation. Yeah, somebody could have separated from their family. From, yo, what the fuck is this? Somebody could have been drinking. Somebody could have a drinking addiction. This could be somebody who um, offer these type of services like holistic healing, Reiki healing. Um, this could be a tarot card reader who, bitch, they got like 80,000 subscribers or something. Wow. This could be somebody who is big wig. Or maybe they're helping people do this. Somebody could have really studied the um, psychological aspects of this. Because you know how someone, I don't even know what they call that. You know when somebody kidnaps you and then they... Um, hold you hostage but they mind screw you so bad that you stay or once you leave like a trafficker or you stay or you'll go back you know it's like you're free the door is there to go but this person just got you so like mentally trapped that you don't know that you could break free from all of this you know what i'm saying it's like this person, will ha this person has an emotional um, connection with this person. They al almost feel like this person is caring for them in some way or they have to take care of this person. Yo, what the fuck is this spirit? Big old Sunday morning, God help me. <gasps> oh my gosh. Somebody's name could start with a B. I love you. Somebody is not feeling encouraged. You smell amazing. They don't. This could be a mother figure. They don't, they don't speak good things over themselves. They feel like they deserve this. You know me in the reverse. Somebody could have been doing rituals. This tarot card reader could be doing rituals on people or men to get them sick. Or maybe this person's sick and this is what they're doing. Yo, I don't know what this is. I'll risk it all for you. Broken promises again. Mad Aggie. This person could be very angry behind closed doors. They come off very caring and nurturing, loving. Bless you, my baby. That's confirmation. Y'all heard it. Bless you again. But um, 
Somebody's at their breaking point. <clears throat> Somebody's at their breaking point. What has this person been studying? I guess studying the beast. Maybe they studying demonology. <clears throat> oh, Lord. What's wrong with my throat now? <clears throat> Somebody could just keep themselves busy. They could be, you know, very... Astrology. What are they studying? Astrology. I told y'all I cannot make this shit up. This could even be a, 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 a doctor with the wellness check. This could be a doctor, a spiritual. They could have went to a spiritual witch doctor to remove some type of something off of them. Or this person is trying to do this now. Maybe they could have got caught up in some mess and, you know, violated somebody's boundaries a lover due to these daddy issues that they could have thought they had a sacred connection with but this person is just like they're not all there somebody is not equipped to be doing something Or Tara could be triggering somebody's daddy issues. This person could catch a lot of flights. They could need a lot of um, self-care or they could need a lot of counseling and um, healing. They take a lot of breaks possibly. They could do like risky shit. They could have a lot of sexual partners feeling like they want this, this connection back that they had with their dad. If this is what was occurring, do not put it if it do not fit. And don't get in my comments. I'm trying to tell you, today is not the day. Okay? Do not do it. All right? Or maybe somebody is just accepting this they're realizing this maybe they need to express it and then they could be able to completely put it on the back burner and move on maybe somebody's gonna finally um speak out and or if they have a channel they might want to maybe they're being led to express themselves that's fucked up that's some fucked up shit man that's fucked up. That's some wicked, vile shit, man. Especially if they was drinking that demon on their back. I'm telling you, that spirit, that that spirit, that demon be lying dormant in you. Yeah. Earth reborn. This could be an oracle. This could be a twin that is going through this. Maybe this is a a. If you are a feminine, this is a master member. It's all energy. But if this is a man going through this on a man, maybe they're realizing this. This person could be sexually conflicted too. Just hear me out. Yeah, realization. Somebody is definitely tired of the fuck shit. Whoever this is. Clone. Somebody trying to clone somebody. And you know what I'm seeing too? This a lot of transgender. This is somebody who could be a man portraying as a woman. We've been seeing this a lot, yo. I don't went up the street the other day. And where was we was in the pizza shop? Me and my baby went to go get a uh, went to get him a slice of pizza. And I the person, I mean, they was they had everything that a that look like a woman, but that face, honey, that face tells it all. The demeanor, the energy. And I was just like, wow. I 
So, or maybe y'all gonna be finding this out. Maybe a tarot card reader is about to remove their Adam's apple or you gonna find out that they did this. I don't know how you would do that. But um, remember with the removal of the, didn't I say thyroids or something? Yeah, y'all starting to see something like, hold up, bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, this person is really a man, not a woman. This person could be well-versed in astrology. I don't know if they show their face or not. They could, but they have some distinct features where you're like, this person could be very popular, too. But it's because they could have been sexually, you know, assaulted at a young age. And I pray that they get the healing they need. This shit is not no joking, laughing matter. We do not condone that shit on our channel. If this is a new subscriber who is doing this type of fuck shit, you going to hell. I'm going to tell you that right now. Okay? You going straight to fucking hell. I'm trying to tell you. So, Maybe somebody went somewhere. Maybe somebody went on vacation. Or be careful because we had that whole birthday sex and all of that shit. Be careful because you know they out here killing the transgender like crazy. They don't care. So be careful. I heard Noah. This could be Noah or Nancy. I put it where it fit. Yeah, clone. That's... Look, pure was in the reverse. Somebody is not real. Somebody's not authentic. And then that whole build a bear. Remember I told you this could be somebody who went and built their body. Bitch, I can't make it up. This person could have took a break from tarot and came back a whole different person. Or well, somebody, father gone past, my condolences, that's going to change things just going to alter this person's life drastically mm -hmm. or this could be somebody finding out we got this before going somewhere and finding out that their dad is really a woman they're going like where's um they they you know what i'm saying they're going and they're like well where's my dad stuff like this is all women stuff like where's my dad like but y'all, you and my dad together, and they were like, "No, this is your dad stuff. This is your, you know." Remember with the whole black light and the painting, left them information or left them a letter or something of the sort. Yo, this could be a brother who was a whole different. You could have not seen the brother for a while, and this person completely changed. Or the confirmation, or this is you. Look, set up. Playing dumb, intoxication, I'm sorry for everything, I can't stand you, Archangel Metatron giving y'all some downloads, look, vitamin D, spell work, hey big head, face down, up. oh my god, guilty, health in the reverse, reminiscing, cross watcher, yeah, I knew this can't be my motherfucking collective. I see you in my dreams. Didn't we say that? You could be dreaming about this person. Okay. You could be dreaming about this person. Yo. Somebody could be watching to see if they gonna get caught. If they found out. Maybe somebody, maybe was like, maybe somebody ain't think that you was legit. And they like, if this bitch tell me or read my motherfucking life, then I know. And then it's, they're going to just be paranoid for a minute. Well, they could have got a reading and the reader read they fulfilled. You hear me? Stolen gems. 
kick bricks forbidden weeks tarot card reader bitch i cannot make it up legalities liar liar body aches bitch i was never friends on here with nobody and it said i miss my friend so i don't know i don't know no other reader mm -mm. I ain't friends with no other reader. I don't kick it with nobody for them to be like, I miss my friend. Not saying this is my message. It's not. I'm just saying. Because they, maybe they're trying to say that you're a liar. That y'all friends. Y'all kicking it. Y'all cool. And they lying. Or this could be somebody from high school who is going through this. Now they're a reader and they might see you coming up. But y'all don't even talk. Y'all don't speak. Remember that I heard Laura Johnson? Y'all don't speak. Maybe they on their journey now or whatever. And maybe they telling people this about you or flip the roles. I don't know where this shit is at right now. I just know this shit is crazy. Somebody trying to move, remove something quickly. They trying to study somebody's astrological chart or they trying to remove you quickly. They trying to, they could be trying to project on you to take a break. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they trying to play on your daddy issues. Not realizing that you could have already healed that. You're seeing something from a totally different perspective when it comes to your dad. You could have got this healing through tarot. But they want you to feel like something's wrong with you or something's wrong with your eyesight, your intuition, your downloads, your messages. They want you to feel like you're not saying something right. Or they might just want you to stop talking or try to block your third eye or your throat chakra. Because they know something's happening for you quickly. They might know you're studying astrology or you are astrologist or they might not really know. You know? This could be a masculine trying to come in on some old, they see you and maybe you're going to dig up in their fucking backyard if they know that they, you, if you really tap, tap the fuck in, bitch. Some sense of urgency. This could be a cancer. This could be a mother figure, home life, nurturing the home. Finding out your, your, um, remember I said something about genealogy and your, um, might be no records. You could have been all kidnapped, trafficked, or sold as a child. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? That's why you can't really find no records and this shit is coming out. Look, development center, something is developing. Some of y'all possibly gonna write a book about this. Y'all always been protected by Archangel Michael. Some type of overseas activity. I'm trying to tell you. Didn't I tell y'all something about Africa, Asia, the Red Sea? Something could be drying up. Somebody was on a spiritual high and then they took a major loss. It was some type of urgency. They could have been at work. Something happened to whoever this was. Somebody could have went over there trying to call up some shit on you, child. A uh, Aries, a father figure, healthy boundaries. Yeah, they can't accept the fact you could have cut this person off. Maybe your sister's trying to help you. Maybe this is why the sister have bad habits. Y'all could have lived on a farm. Remember I told you this is why this person's so angry. They go from zero to 100. Just leave me alone. This person is broken. They're not even, they could be broke, but this person is broken spiritually. Sorry for breaking your heart. Look, busted. This person could, hey, I heard arson. This person could have died in a fire. Teach me. Yes, 
maybe somebody went, is going across seas to get some type of, oh my God. Y'all know what my Doctor Strange card is. That's that black magic. That's that witch doctor. I told you this person could be studying how to do wicked shit to people or remove people eyesight or reroute them in some way because they don't want this person to eat. This could be a Pisces. Bitch. Bitch. What did I just say? What did I just say? What did I just say? This could be a Pisces, a Cancer. Somebody could have went across seas. You know what I'm seeing? Um, Witcher. Okay, Witcher. Remember that girl? Angelique. Remember she did that ritual? And they said they could kill her, but she was all disfigured. And she wanted to look beautiful. She wanted to be alluring. She wanted to feel good. 11, 11, 56, 56. She wanted to feel good. She did that procedure. They did that ritual on her. But she had to, you know, and I think it took like three days. And she completely transferred into this beautiful being. Somebody trying to cover up who they truly are. Or they trying to shut you up. Because we got it. Where's the messages? Where's the messages? Something about Arizona. I'm trying to suffer in silence. Always two steps ahead. Pressure. This could somebody's blood pressure could have been, you know, this person could have all possibly died multiple times in the procedure. They had to revive them. Somebody could have went overseas, Africa or Asia. Something about loosening, departure, Red Sea. Somebody could be bleeding a lot. They could have that bag. Oh, my God. And didn't I tell y'all something yesterday about a tummy tuck? Complete transformation. I heard piggy tacos. So somebody could have felt like a pig. I'm not calling nobody a pig. I'm just telling y'all what I was getting. Didn't I tell y'all something about North Miami? Ain't Dr. Miami over there? Somebody could have paid the Uber. Remember I told you somebody could be caring. This person could be a nurse. They could be a caretaker. They could take of an elder they could take care of an elderly nurse, somebody who is from the islands. who's Catholic, so, yo, I don't know. Somebody could have sacrificed their lives, life for, the, for their desires, sacrifice who they were. You know what I'm saying? And then, of course, if you are a trans, you have no records. Like, you a whole different person. You understand what I'm saying? Put it where it fit. There would be no trace because there is no whoever you your your new name is. That was not your birth name. That was not your, you know what I'm saying? Yo. I feel like this person was led astray. This person could have been even adopted. You know what I'm saying? An Aquarius, a Sagittarius, a Aries. This could person could be in the fashion industry. I'm hearing Norman. This person could communicate. They could be a model. I was hearing something about a model. I'm hearing that. Um, what? Look, Cancerian with the crime. Yo, I'm hearing something so crazy right now. I'm hearing that. This person is transgender and they're killing models. Oh my God, I just felt something touch my face right here. There could have been like a string of, of murders recently to stars. 
I'm seeing let astray. This person could um, entice these women with clothes or this could have been somebody who works closely with models or communicate with the models or they could dress them or they could be the designer or they could be the, um, what do they call them people? What do they call them people that um, dress the, dress the, um, dress the people? I don't even know. This could be somebody who dressed the, the celebrities and stuff. Celebrity stylist. This could be a stylist. This could be a stylist. They could have found out they were sick and they could be killing off the models who are actually um, women. Because I'm telling you, those trans men, transgenders, men, they, um, they hate women. They could even have mommy issues. Or they could even hated their mom because, you know. And then we see something about a mother in here. Or maybe this person is going to harm their mom. Or harm their mom. Or maybe their mom don't want to talk to them because they said, please talk to me. Somebody's name could be Lexus. Yeah, somebody could be heartbroken. Look, identity theft. Yeah, nobody knows who this person is. This person could have a big ass. Whole fucking man. Circle in the block. This could, look, the soul tribe probably figured, look. The soul tribe is probably figuring some shit out. Look. Y'all heard it? Maybe this person said something. They done got angry and their true voice came out. Child, please. What don't you understand? One by one. Blocked. Maybe somebody's cursing somebody out. Maybe they blocking people left and right. Something about a signature. Maybe the signature wasn't right. It said Olympus has fallen. Birthday sex. Maybe somebody was sleeping with somebody and found out that they were not who they said they were. And, you know, rapture. Something happened quick. Well, some that this could just be an astrologer who's studying the rapture. Somebody who is a, a up there in numbers, or you know, but somebody is definitely having some type of issue with a father figure. Or this could be a baby daddy, baby mama, ex-husband, ex-boyfriend, just ex-whatever. And maybe somebody is trying to reconcile. Maybe somebody want to come back in like, you know, I'm ready. I'm emotionally available now. I need your touch. But somebody might need to get checked, bitch, because something ain't right down there in them parts. Okay? Maybe when somebody sees somebody, they can see the decline in their health. They can hear it in their voice. Something needs to be removed. Something needs to be, and it needs to be removed quickly. Maybe this procedure is going to cost 80K.
Maybe somebody feel like they're going to be judged. So maybe somebody feel like they're being judged, but it's just confirmation that you don't might not need to do this shit or whatever this is. Put it where it fit. Something about North Carolina and HEA. I don't know. Somebody could be concerned for somebody's children. Maybe this is a man who is transitioning into a woman and something unexpectedly happened. And we all going to find out that this person died on the table doing a sex transplant of some sort. This person could have two children. They could have just recently went and got their nails done. This person could be a nail technician. They could be an Uber driver. They could cook. I heard they're the crab god. Or they could be going from Johnson to Lauren. I don't know. Put it where it fits. Maybe they feel like they need to do this because remember I said incorporate in new ways to make work more fun, especially if you're an influencer. Somebody gonna make the sacrifice of a lifetime, child, and it's gonna be their they life. I'm sorry to say it on this big old Sunday. Yeah. Somebody could have been um, doing some type of root work. Somebody could be possessed. Somebody could, yes, yeah, some type of paperwork. You could never. Something with some paperwork. Karma forgets no address. Oh my God, I'm out of here. I'm leaving. I'm gone. Last night I did um, Libra. Then I started doing Leo and Aquarius. But it, um, they said, don't post him. This could be a karmic. Waiting. Or well, maybe this is all the transgender that's in love with you, child. But y'all don't go that way. You're going to be shocked. Imagine being at your baby shower and you invited your baby daddy and you haven't seen them for a long time or whatever the case. And they come in there, a whole woman. And you're like, um, can we help you? And it's like, yeah, it's me. Look, humble. It's me, Teddy. Teddy who? Hospital. Somebody gonna get their ass humbled in some type of facility. I'm trying to tell you something is occurring. Somebody should have never did it. And if this is what you plan on doing, sir, don't do it. Pull up TikTok. Look, this could be somebody on TikTok who's very unique. This could be somebody who's... um cycle of life this is somebody who could be carrying people on the journey while they do this this could definitely be an influence they could have 10k or maybe they paid down 10k and they're gonna pay the rest today tag me in that's definitely a demon bitch this could be a demon on somebody's body telling them they, that they're not pure they need to do this in order to you know flourish bitch i cannot capricorn energy look breaking news that's that devil energy with Scorpio season, this is not the fucking time to be trying to go under nobody knife, bitch. Look, and they're going to reintroduce themselves. <sighs> oh, my God. Don't do it, sir. Maybe somebody feel like they're going to get a book deal. Because you know what I'm seeing in my third eye right now? That man. Remember Issa Rae? She was on... Some show she's doing, it wasn't a show, it was a movie where she wrote a book. And it was, they was like, oh, we all just love your book. And then <laughs> they said, why don't you read a passage from your book? And I think she was like, Quanisha, you know that's Ray Ray, whatever, whatever. I'm just making that part up because I don't remember. But she was like, you know, Quanisha, that you know that's Ray Ray, baby. And, you know, you don't need no more baby daddies. And the white lady got up like... You know, so he was like, and this is a, another author who was in the back who career kind of went down because he write books that, you know, so he felt like he had to put on to get a book to sell. He was like, so I basically wrote a book about a joke or about, you know, 
making making up shit or being fake or because they was like how many years did you do in the penitentiary or what were you in there for and he was like was it murder? He was like, you said it, not me. You know what I'm saying? So now they want to do a whole movie deal. They want to do all this stuff. And it's just like, you can't go back now. Like there's no return policy. Somebody needs to have an awakening. And they're going to awaken and they're not going to be here <laughs> in this dimension. Somebody's name could start with a J, a Gemini. A Cancer. Twin flame. Yeah. Y'all see it. This could be y'all twin flame who who was sexually don't know what they want to do. Or this could be a twin. This could be a Gemini. This could just be Geminis. Um, this could also be like an actual twin. Like your twin brother, twin sister. You're going to come back and they're going to be the same sex as you. Or that's what they want you know deuces that's two dark orders they not getting they love they not getting this advice from somebody who is sound they are talking to a reader who is dark love wins infinity and beyond you damn right Switch decks. Okay, which one you want me to switch to? We are ready so far in spirit. What do you want me to do? Oh, I know which one to do. I know exactly which one to do. Look, it says warning. Adult, innocent, star seed. Yeah, this is somebody who has a calling over their life, but they have not awakened or they're acting like they're awakened, but they're getting their orders from the darkness, not from the light. Yeah, change, loss. Look at that shit. Eight of wands, some type of communication about somebody not feeling enough, missing somebody, feeling left out in the cold. Yeah, somebody want to be free. But you don't have to go do a whole surgery. Look, this is going to be definitely very triggering for somebody. And listen. Yeah, somebody could have been contemplating this since the summertime. They want to be renewed. Somebody been suffering ever since. Somebody need to do that shadow work, honey. Or this could be somebody who is want to apologize. Somebody want to change something. They need to go heal their inner child. Somebody wants to be feminine. Somebody definitely want to change something. That's the fucking truth. Ace of air. I cannot. Somebody is hella emotional or emotionally withdrawn. Look, retreat, distant, blocked, emotionally, physically. Told you. Somebody has emotionally withdrawn breakfast somebody could be talking about they taking a flight somewhere they just taking some time for their own help but whatever this is it's faded and look it's the truth scales gotta balance up baby some unexpected storm is occurring you're supposed to be going to your north node and you're going to your south okay you're not going the right weird warning warning stop stop Yes, yeah, status quo, vanity, pride, ego. Let that shit go because something is hidden, baby, that you need to love yourself enough to know you are about to sabotage your whole life. You're not seeing something clearly. Some type of communication you get in about a twin flame or something or you feel like you need to put on for this person or this could be a feminine feeling like she needs to go do this to attract this person or call this person in even more. No. Look, Mars, hot, passion, lust, anger, attraction, knight of wands. Listen, maybe you think you're going to get a new beginning. Somebody could be watching and spying. Somebody could be closed off. 
This could be a masculine sabotage control because they don't know their self-worth. Trying to find out where they where they love lies. Trying to build a solid foundation. But something is going to be over before it even starts. Yeah, some of y'all could have been receiving dream messages about whoever this third party is or this situation or this karmic person is. This person don't want to awaken. They don't want to do the work. Yeah, karma. Something is going to be explosive, man. This could be a family you have some. This could be somebody you have a family with. Look, we got fears, whispers. I'm telling you, somebody's being taunted. Somebody needs to focus on the bigger picture. Somebody is doing all the wrong things. They have not awakened. Look, guilty, sabotage. They haven't healed. Anxiety. Nine of Swords, Nightmares. Feeling defeated. Can't sleep. Maybe that they're going through the dark night. Yeah, they remembering. Told you. Let's just get a few more. Could be somebody a reader who's really seeing how their daddy issues have been affecting their damn business affecting their health affecting them from really elevating to the heights they need to get to to be able to you know get on a certain level they want to be and they might be on a level but their soul is not there yet yeah they in a lot of regrets because they still wearing a fucking mask they still have a lot of doubt. Wow. Yeah, inner healing. They need this. Somebody's suffering in silence. Ace of air. That's the fucking truth. Mental clarity, communication, breakthrough. They need this. Somebody is just cold, man. Somebody's just mean. Somebody's just calculated. They're very judgmental. What is this rapture spirit? Clarify this rapture for me, please. Or they could have blamed their dad or for their dad not being them for, for certain things. Yes, certain soul connections or soul ties they have to people because of them not being there. Maybe they blame their dad for how they are. What's this rapture? No love. Libra Taurus in the reverse. No fucking love. Why they can't get love offers? They probably getting overlooked. Nobody's picking them. They feel like they need to change their aesthetics in order to be more appeasing to the collective or people or the world or how people see them. Maybe they've been studying their birth chart on how to take this away or what they need to do in order to have this breakthrough but it start with you that's why i tell everybody that i know i said yesterday you know it's all about you and what i meant by that because some people take it into however they want to take it people take shit and run with it they don't really fully understand when i say it start with you you have to work on you to be a better person, to be in a relationship or to be able to give your partner or your family or your friends, whoever, the best version of you. You cannot go into something unhealed because you will sabotage it. You will mess it up. You have to love yourself first in order to truly love somebody else. And if you don't take that time to do the work, how are you going to know what you need to be doing? Or how you're acting or being able to see somebody's um see somebody for who they truly are. You know, how you gonna have good discernment? 
How you gonna be able to trust? How you ever gonna not sabotage yourself or, you know what I'm saying? Trick your own self out your own shit. How you gonna see love when it come? How you not gonna see the, the, the how you gonna see the people who are not truly for you? You have to work on you. You have to be in your highest vibration, your highest form. Granted, if this is what you feel like you need to do to get that, I don't think that's the way. I feel like you need to work on self first in order to, you know, maybe you did and maybe you still feel like you want to do this. Maybe it's going to boost your confidence, but I feel like you boost your own confidence by loving yourself. And when you love yourself enough to say, I accept myself, other people will do the same. But if you're projecting out the opposite, what do you think you're going to receive? You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you. I don't mean to be talking about myself, but I'm trying to give you an example. I sat here and I did my work. I did what I had to do. I thought I was healed. I thought I was ready to move forward. Um. Then I said, okay, I'm going to give, I'm going to start putting myself back out there and stuff. And, you know, and I went to the store and I met this doctor who said that he, and I'm like, oh, shit, I'm meeting doctors now, you know? Like, okay, maybe the vibration changed. Like, maybe I, I'm emitting good, great energy or healing energy. Man, this man going to tell me about he married. <laughs> he getting a divorce. He's in the midst of getting a divorce. Okay, so what you want with me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Call me when you get your divorce. Like, I'm not with it. Then he tried to entice me, try to sway me, try to tell me he going to buy all this stuff. He could do anything I want. Okay, when you doing all this stuff, what you expect me to do? Because you're still married, sir. So what are we supposed to be doing? No. So if you feel like this is how you're going to attract love by doing all these things or putting on this persona or... I don't fucking know. You need to really, truly elevate. Okay? You need to look at something from a completely different arena, honey. You need to go work on your daddy issues. Or this is what Tara was bringing up for you. Or somebody needs to eradicate Tara altogether and work on their fucking self. Tara cannot help you if you're not willing to do the work. You cannot go do astrology to... You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all might even need to get checked. Y'all might need to just take a break from fucking tarot. Go within. Heighten your vibration. Get more em emotionally in tune. Study that shit. Study the psychological aspects of emotions, feelings. Okay? Them daddy issues got you thinking you want people to touch on you or you need somebody's touch. And then just as quick as it started, just as, as quick as it ended. <clears throat> Some of y'all could just need to remove fucking tarot. Y'all don't spend too much money on that shit. You know what I'm saying? And y'all still don't have love. Y'all not getting no offers. So put it where it fit, child. This shit was everywhere. And I hope it helped. If you need to say something, yeah. You want... You want to have chemistry and love with somebody or this is what you're waiting for but you have to do the work for yourself and if you did meet somebody that was reminding you of your father maybe that's what you need to take a step back and figure that out because i told you when that man came to me and he said all of that stuff i said oh bitch you still got work to do because yeah you're you're um Different vessel, different career, but same spirit. Mm -mm. Next, we're going back to the drawing board. What else do you need to work on? There's something else you're not seeing. Something else you need to remove. Some way of thinking. Something. Because you're attracting more potentials as far as being well-rounded with their career and all that stuff. But still emotionally unavailable. Still on some tricky, tricky energy. Getting where you fit in, not committal, or because they're already committed on some third party shit. Like, we're not doing that. I ain't being nobody third nothing, okay? No one. <laughs> so, yeah. You have to set out 
your set your intentions a little higher. Step out of your comfort zone. Zone. Do the self healing, self care. When you know what you're worthy of and what you deserve, then you can attract and receive what it is that you need. It's not gonna go the opposite way. Yeah, you're still holding on to the past. You're still suffering. Maybe you have abandonment issues. Maybe your father passed when you were younger and you just never, you know, you maybe you never even had a relationship with your dad. You know what I'm saying? But you can't let that handle you. Why, why, why not take your, your mom's um energy and let that fuel you to be the best version of you? Why do people do that? But it's a, some generational shit. So maybe you need to still break some generational curses on your end before you could even tap into some other areas. And that's going to help you bring you, give you your big break when it comes to astrology or if that's what you're studying or if that's what you want to go into. Yeah. Somebody could be watching and gathering information, page of swords, trying to figure you out, keeping tabs, breakthrough, epiphany, sudden truths. Yeah, your spirit guide is probably going to bring you some type of information. All right. Yeah, you want to attract love, but you're not emitting any love. You're very defensive, guarded. Seven of Wands, just blocked off. Protecting yourself from what? Protecting yourself from love? That's what I'm saying. If you don't know, yeah, closed off. Protecting yourself from love. Letting this fucking devil energy get up in your head and run rapid. No, bitch, you better tighten up. Self-care is the best care. Love is the highest form. Look, external partying. No, external party. Yeah, this is, could be somebody who is into third party activity. So you about to go get your body done. Change your whole sex to be a fucking third party. Bitch, are you crazy? Who are these new, um, look, divine time. You have to trust the process. Who is this, my new collective? I hope this is not, look, this is. Yeah, self-love, set your intentions higher. Get out of all of that regret. Take off that fucking mask and tap into your past lives and, you know, break those generation curses. Look at this. I already told you. I'm not about to go back into it. We already too long into this video. I ain't even made to make this this long. I always say that, but this shit just got heavy all of a sudden. I saw the rapture and I... Took off the T U R and I said, hold up, bitch. Or maybe somebody's studying on how to do this. Or if this is in their chart, like, did they deserve this? Hell no, nobody deserved that shit. You keep separating yourself, closing off yourself from love because you know, fuck that. Do the work, y'all, for real. You deserve love. Status quo. This could even be a celebrity who. Child, please. Okay. Okay. What else? And we're going to be coming up out of here. Yeah. You easily tempted, man. That's why I told you from zero to a hundred. Maybe somebody's studying, yeah, why they like this. Why they so lustful? But it's because if you had this issue, of course, if this happened to you, of course you would be like that. Because th that's how you feel. You feel like that's how things are supposed to go. I'm telling you, the mother and the father fuck these kids up before they even get hit the streets, okay? That's why I be telling y'all ain't nobody about to fuck their minds. Mm -mm. No, thank you, no, ma'am. And I tell people, your father wasn't there. Your mother wasn't there. You don't know what type of demon they had on them. You don't know what their vices were. You don't know if they were drunks, pedophiles. You don't know what they were. This person could have all been pimping their they daughter out. Come on, stop it. You don't know these people. Look at that lady who sold her daughter five years old. That bitch, she going to jail. She sold him to pay off a bill of 200 and something dollars. Let this fucking man take her daughter to the hotel and then killed her. Oh God. Yeah. Confusion, illusion. 
Yes, you are definitely caught up, man. The devil got a stronghold on you. Moon energy. Somebody is toying with your mind. The devil got a hold of you. Or this tarot shit. You got your ass fucked up astrology. Maybe you are not studying the right thing. You're not seeing something. Whatever this is you into or you looking for, it ain't love. It ain't nothing about Venus. It ain't nothing appeasing. Okay? You might think this is love or whatever. Or that's what you looking for, a partnership or friendship. But it's a lot of deception. A lot of self-deception at that. You're confused. You're not seeing something clearly. You're just escaping through these addictions and these fantasies and the codependency. Yeah, because of your family, your foundation, not knowing who you are or feeling like you you don't have a family. 30, 31 o'clock. Listen, I tell myself all the time or I tell people. Don't worry about that. You make a life of your own. You make the choices that you make. Once you leave your mama house and your daddy house or you turn a certain 18 or 21, it's all you. You have nobody to blame but you. You knew these things from a child. So you're going to start to work to towards being better. That's why you see so many people, they settle. If their parents was in a filthy relationship, they go get married and then that shit could be tumultuous too. And then they'll stay in it for the children or what it look like or how it feel or whatever because that's what they're used to. No, bitch, I'm no. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> that's what people do not like. I used to be like, I'm not fucking doing it. That's dumb. <laughs> yeah. You got to make it make sense. But I never closed off myself. I never... You know, after my last son, father, I just took my time. I took my fucking time. Yeah, to get to know myself. Truly awaken. Be the best version of me because I'm like, okay, clearly something. It's, it got to stem from me now because, you know, why I keep picking all these wrong people, you know? But I didn't beat myself up. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> why? No. I was like, bitch, you got to tighten up. What happened? What's going on with you? And certain things you might think don't hurt you and bother you, you will be surprised to know. So some of y'all really got to deep dive into it. Maybe this astrology shit is helping y'all eradicate some stuff, but do it. If that's what you need to do, do it. If you just need to take a break from the whole terrible shit, may take you a retreat, jump on the flight. You know what I'm saying? So you could get your mind right. Do that shit. Yeah, I see somebody here by the water. Yeah, you need to get away. You're looking at something completely wrong. You might have had a lot of partners that were very tempting and lustful and in and out, non-committal, but that's you that's changing. That's changing. Because you the first card was removal. Maybe this winter, autumn. You realize it's time to move some shit around. The past is over, starting over. Then I tell you soul growth, clearing new intentions. So this is good. Or maybe I had to tell you all of this so you could see where you needed to start. Yeah, the past is over. You're releasing that. You're letting all of that go. You're rejecting anything that didn't make you feel good. You're rejecting anybody that left you out in the cold. And maybe up there, dad did recently pass and it just brought up a lot of emotions that you're going to let go. Yeah. You can find, look, it's divine timing. You can finally release it. The sun come out in the morning with the strength card. Yeah. And now you're about to start building on your own family and stop being so closed off because your twin flame possibly be trying, is trying to come into union with you. But you're about to go do some old other shit and controlling some shit ain't going to fuck up the whole Sabotage your whole connection. Sabotage your abundance. Yeah, have more compassion. Be more nurturing and caring. Let your guard down and take off that mask. So you can receive your wish fulfillment. Bitch, I can't make it up. Divine feminine. Okay? Your higher self is talking to you. They trying to ignite your passion. They trying to get you back on your path. All right? Something happening quickly. Because somebody could be definitely watching you. 
they could be watching and how you expanding they could be seeing you in their dreams they might want to communicate and they're being guided your guides or this could be your guides talking to you like it's time the past is over the winter is for renewal okay take your time if you got to study and do take care of yourself take a break withdraw do whatever you need to do you know what i'm saying get your thoughts right Get out of that self-doubt. Remember who the fuck you were. So, and release, purge, do what you need to do. Do that self-care. Because it's fated for you to be in this union or have this tarot, ADK. This could be just somebody who is trying to get on or, you know, but doing the work in order to become the best version of them. This could be a, so many different people, but yeah. Yeah. Karma, justice, weighing things out, cause and effect. I said cause and effect yesterday. Wants to make things right. Yeah. Y'all getting activated. Last card and we closing out. Yeah, unexpected storm, honey. Saturn, you learned that change. You learned. Tower card, destruction, conflict, unforeseen change, sudden news. Oh, this could be Pluto energy, right? Yeah. I feel like this could be Pluto energy. Is it? Yeah, tower. Some type of realization, some type of epiphany, something, some information, some truth, some clarity, some understanding. Mars. Yeah, some explosive energy. Mars. Quick, quick, quick. Quick, 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 sudden. Yeah, because you don't learn them lessons from Saturn. Or you're learning them. You've been waiting a long time. You just couldn't understand why you weren't getting any love offers. Because you still had some work to do. You still was had a little bit of addictions. Maybe a little bit of codependency. A little bit of temptation. Or you just wasn't seeing something for what it truly was. But you're getting it now. Well, you're going to get it through this message. Or through tarot. But you on your way. Something's going to happen quick, explosive, quick change. Yeah. Some type of download. Some type of something. You're going to be able to see something. Maybe you're going to hear a voice. And it's going to open up. You know, it's going to be like. I'm hearing like, um, you know, when you have locks, it's like ching, 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 ching. <laughs> it's just going to open. It's going to release you so you could just step out of your old body and step into your new, you know, your new, new. But anyway, I love y'all. Like, share, and subscribe. Let me know how you like this. Let me know how you like this. Some of y'all could have got some new glasses. Or need to get you some glasses, child. Maybe a new lens. Maybe y'all gonna go contacts. Some of y'all love the autumn. Y'all favorite holidays are autumn. I see y'all redecorating y'all home. If y'all ain't already do it. Something about nails, though. Something about nails. Y'all could be getting um red and orange nails. With a hint of gold and blue, maybe turquoise and green. It's beautiful. It looks nice. It looks like um, watercolor. Or maybe y'all getting, um, what's that thing called? Y'all know what, you know how they dip it, dip it, dip it, and then they go like that. So it looks like all the colors mix. Yeah, but like, share, and subscribe, y'all. I hope this helped. Y'all have a great Sunday.
big up on the self like share and subscribe 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 share share like like or donate whichever if you, whatever your heart desire or just share it so it can get out to other people just share it that's all you need to do you don't have to like or subscribe or donate share that'll be your your energetic donation big up on the self cupcakes 